Red Dead Online is the online multiplayer mode for Red Dead Redemption 2, and as of December 2nd, 2020, it's available to buy standalone on Steam for $5. As someone who loved the story mode of Red Dead 2, but never bothered to check out the online mode, I thought now would be a good time to jump in and check it out to see if Rockstar has learned any lessons from the dodgy online mode of GTA 5. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Door in a Child is a brand new adventure game available on Steam where you play as Nia, the healer of broken hearts, who takes a trip to the mysterious and beautiful soul world. This art style is crazy, I really like it. Is this my house? The art style for each level is very different. This level's trippy and there's some kind of other character over here. In this game, different stages represent different complex emotions and you must open closed doors, heal hearts and experience unique emotional stories. Gameplay wise, Door Inner Child has a lot of platforming and puzzle elements, whilst also providing a profound world to adventure through. Typically, you can freely change camera perspectives whilst exploring the world, but encountering certain emotions might lock your perspective, tear apart the screen and mess with the camera. Door in a Child was made by a single indie dev and has already won several indie game awards. Personally, I love adventure games like this and the crazy unique art style has actually made me purchase the game for myself. So this is the next door we're going through. Put the block here. So I guess this is a little puzzle. Onto the next door. Okay. Well, this area looks different. Hidden Castle. So if you like what you see and want to go on a real emotional adventure, then click the link in the description below to buy Door in a Child today. Red Dead Online. Let's jump in and see if it's any fun. So this is where we make our character. Going to jail. Nice way to start the game. 20 different facial presets. You, you can be a bit of a pork chop if you want to. Someone needs to visit the dentist. You can just have no teeth yep. at all if you want. <laughs> I bet you can make some really drippy looking characters in this game. What is this facial hair? The Sea Shanty. I'm happy with that, we're looking good. Change your character's looks based on their lifestyle. What does Double Sunburn look like? Oh my god, I'm a tomato. Being an alcoholic changes your skin. The tiredness slider changes your eyes. So that's our character. Pretty decent character customization. Here he is. So I've got the choice to play through the intro or skip the intro. I've never played through the intro before, so I'm not gonna skip it. Here he is. My character starting out as a prisoner. I loved the initial Red Dead 2 story. I completed it like two years ago, but I never touched the online mode. So I'm really intrigued to play some more. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Damn education. Okay. I'm getting busted out, are we? Well, that was an easy transaction. Yoink. So the last time I played this game, I used a controller, so I need to get used to the keyboard controls. Apparently, my character was wrongly convicted, so that's why we've been let out. V, change camera distance, go first person if we want to. So this is the woman that's paid to have us freed. Lasso, knife, lantern, new set of clothes. They're really setting me up for success. I can wear no shirt if I want. So fairly straightforward storyline so far. My character was basically falsely accused and sentenced to hang. Um, for some kind of event that went down. This lady freed me because during that event her husband was killed so she wants to free me so I can get revenge on the people that killed her husband. And now we're off to Blackwater Post Office. I've really missed being in the world of Red Dead. It's truly a stunning open world. Afternoon. Go to Tall Trees. Can the horse make the jump? can. Good horse. I guess this is the tall trees area they were talking about. Pop him right in the head. Got him. Oh, shit. There's another one. Oh, he took his hat. Oh, God. One. My shooting skills. Not ideal. Oh, God. Another one. Right in the face. Okay, that was easy. Guess we should go search their bodies. Absolute mad lad. Wiped out a whole camp. I'm going to spare this person's life and take the map. He's just a bandit doing his job. I'm sure my character was a bandit at some point. Honor level increased. Open the treasure map. You're going to go searching for treasure? Set a waypoint? What the hell am I eating? Oh, okay, we're just eating a plant off the floor. I love eating raw plants. All right, let's go find the treasure. It's raining now. And we got ourselves a treasure chest. Not the most hidden location to hide a treasure chest, but there we go. Oh, a bunch of jewelry. Nice. I really wish the Rockstar Games would make an actual MMORPG one day. 
because the worlds they create are bloody glorious. So for this mission, I need to do matchmaking. I hope this game doesn't have the same problem that GTA Online has, where if you start a mission and a player disconnects, the whole mission's just cancelled. That was something that really pissed me off about GTA Online. So this is the crew. We need to go steal some horses. Got some action already, have we? This one. Steal a horse. So I'll grab this one. Yoink. My horse now. Oh! <laughs> is it dead? Oh my god, it's bloody dead. Okay, no, it's not. Good horse. Come on, you're a strong horse. Oh shit, we're being chased. Oh, a good shot. Oh my... I, I cannot drive these horses to save my life. Oh, I got him. Oh god, another one. I'm getting zerged. I remember this game being way easier on console because of the, like, lock... Target locking. Got him. Got his horse anyway. Got him too. I wonder if the mission fails if one of us dies like in GTA Online. Probably, right? There's the rest of the crew. Looks like a successful job. Give me those fat stacks. So we can just steal horses and sell them to this guy. So now we got ourselves a new horse. Back to the camp we go. This might be a bit high. Yeah. Come on, horse. You can do better than that. Looks like my camp's been set up. And that's the intro finished. Pretty good. Taught me all the basics. I guess now we're going to find out if this is like GTA Online, where everyone just runs around murdering each other, and there's hackers blowing each other up. I hope that's not going to be the case. And that's level four. So now we can really jump into it. Go out and explore. So I've got daily challenges, apparently. I've got a red flag or a white flag. My assumption would just be that the red flag... Means I'm down to fight. Oh god, there's a red dot coming near me. Let's whip out the gun. It's a dog. Is it still not dead? Finish it. Guess we're gonna skin it and then sell the skin. I saw a red dot on the map and I thought, oh, here we go. We're about to get killed by some random player. Performance-wise, the game is freezing a little bit. Whereas it doesn't do that for me on the story mode. Sell the tooth. $18. Got that big money. Oh, you can open the menu and there's a bunch of different game modes. I guess I'll come back in 10 minutes when we've arrived at our destination. <laughs> what happened? I died. Well, we didn't make it very far before dying. I lost my bloody hat as well. Oh, there's some bloody wolves patrolling the road. Come on, horse. Oh, my horse is spooked. Yo! Dude, take your gun out. Dude, horse, can you fucking... This horse. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I guess that's what happened to me last time. What could I have done about that? My horse just left me for dead. I'm going to rename this horse from reliable to useless. I haven't seen any other players around during this free roam mode. Look at all of that mist. It's pretty intense. Blinded by the sun in the mist. And we've arrived at Rhodes. We're going to become a bounty hunter. So I need to get a bounty hunter license. How much? 15 gold bars. You do not have 15 gold bars. I've got zero points. 0.23 gold bars though. Even if I wanted to pay to win gold bars to get my bounty hunter license quickly, it's 20 euros. Seems like that was a wasted journey. So what's the difference between doing this in the online mode as opposed to doing it in the story mode? I don't really get it. So it seems as though I can fast travel by opening the menu and then clicking free roam from one of the five different states. You queue for a little game and you're in a five minute loading screen. Mental. Really? Is there only going to be four of us? Is this actually a dead game? So this seems to just be some kind of deathmatch mode. Oh shit. Fucking hell. Okay, I've shot three times. Jesus. Yeah, body shots seem pretty useless in this game. Oh my god. I don't know if they've just got some crazy weapons or they're using some auto-aim shit. But every single death, I've died to a headshot instantly. So far. What? I shot her in the face. Every shot's a headshot. They have to be hacking. He just respawned. And now the game's ended. We go for another five minute loading screen. Go for a five minute loading screen. Then you need to wait for another 
90 seconds before the game starts if one person doesn't ready up. There's just so many long periods of waiting before you can actually play the game. So we're helping the sheriff reclaim one of his escaped criminals. This is fun. Can the horse off-road it down here? Of course he can. It's not my horse. Come on. Oh, fuck, I died? I didn't think I was going to die from that. Nice. I've been disconnected. Is that the end of that, is it? All of that. Fall off a mountain. Disconnect. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Now through the five minute load screen we go again. Why do I have to whistle my horse and then it just comes out of fucking nowhere every time? Can the horse just spawn next to me? As if I'm not going to want to instantly ride my horse. So this time I'm not going to jump off the bloody mountain to my death. So we've got the bad guy lassoed. There's more of them coming to stop us. Oh, did I just blow up my horse? No, he's okay. Come on, reliable. Living up to your name now, aren't you? Your horse has been spooked by a loud noise. Oh, nice shot. Right in the face. So we've got the choice to let the outlaw go. So it's two to one to refuse the offer. What happens if it's a stalemate? You have made the honorable choice. This mission was quite fun, to be fair. Loading screen, loading screen. We've had our fun, now we have a loading screen. We did the mission now, we're just in the middle of nowhere, are we? All right, game. That's level five. Wait, wanted? I thought I was shooting another player. Okay, this one's moving like a player. No, that's an NPC. I don't know if I'm fighting NPCs or players. I'm a little bit confused. I'm actually enjoying this less than GTA Online at the moment. It's just not as fun. I can't really think of a reason to play this over the single player mode, to be honest. Next mission. <sighs> This game is no longer available. So where's it gonna spawn me now? I just went to the mission start location. Dude, just keep finding a game until I find the... And it spawns me in the middle of nowhere. This has the exact same issues that GTA Online has when it comes to missions and finding missions with other players. We go to the mission start location, we wait for a game, we cannot find a game, so it spawns me in Africa. Come on, you bastard, get up. What is it doing? <laughs> oh fuck, I'm just gonna roll this horse into a cactus. Come on, horse. That's a bad horse. Come on. I'm trying to help you up. Come on. Come on, old reliable. Are we killing our horse? Good boy. Good boy. He lost a bit of health from that. It's not looking too hot now, is he? Come on, move forward, horse. All right. I'll go on foot. Escort the caravan to the destination. So it seems like there's some missions out in the world that you do solo. Nice. Rival players can attack the caravan. Oh, ripping heads. I love this area. The lighting is fantastic. Really beautiful as the sun's going down. Ah, well that was nice. I didn't even have to go through a long loading screen. It takes a long time to earn money in this game. I've been playing for almost three hours now, and I still haven't earned my first gold bar. Bought myself some ammo. Wasn't too expensive. So this guy's wife has been kidnapped, and we need to go get her back for him. Really pissing it down with rain today. Oh my god. Missing every shot. There we go. What are you doing up there? Sneaky beaver. We got a roof Korean over here. He sent you, didn't he? He sent you. Oh, well, we're in love. <laughs> so we just killed all of those so people for nothing. So now we need to protect the couple. They don't seem to give a shit that we've just slaughtered all of their friends. This dude's literally sent an army of people to get his wife back. I don't know why he was in the sheriff's office begging for help. Oh, good shot. So as a result of this woman not breaking up with her husband normally and just running off, about a hundred people so far have died. Cliff, isn't it all so romantic? Apparently there's something waiting for me at the post office, so I guess I'll go check it out. A letter from Crips. Crips has pretty good handwriting, to be fair. Does Armadillo really not have a stable? Let's jerry on down to Blackwater and steal our little house in the stable. I've gone for a change of scenery and I've spawned in the marshlands. Take a trip on down to St. Denis and give my horse a little bit of TLC. This is my favourite town in the game. It's so detailed. Everywhere you look, there's something going on. Super immersive. And I love the sound my horse's hooves make. 
as it's walking down the street. Horse care package. There he goes. He's a happy boy. My horse has once again become the speed demon that he knows he can be. So this is a delivery mission. He wants me to be a legit mailman. Not breaking the law or anything. Something's going to go wrong, surely. Careful. Horse. Can you please horse better? Turn in the mail. Horse, careful. It's hard to speed on these streets. I said, just lob it on the floor. Fast as fuck, boy. Mission complete. That was super easy. Can we hijack a train in online mode? Jump to train. Ooh, okay. Oh, we just pushed him out the window. <laughs> Yoink. That's my train now. My wanted level's actually going down, so at some point I can stop the train and loot it. Parked in the middle of Saint Denis. Is there anything I can loot from in this train? Isn't the whole point of robbing a train so you can steal stuff from it? What's the point if there's nothing to steal? It's like this train was a dud. I'm gonna spit on you. What do you think about that? Damn you. Hey! I'm gonna give him a punch. Oh no, I didn't want to whip out my gun. That's a little bit... That's a little bit much. He wasn't deterred by the gun. Poor old Bob here. He's been working at the factory all day. He's just come out for a smoke. Oh, he's had enough of my shit now. That's what you get, Bob. You should have kept your mouth shut, Bob. And I'm gonna take that hat. And now we've entered his factory. Don't mind me. I'm Bob's replacement. Hello, Russ. Oh, oh, oh. You don't talk about what happens at Fight Club. Can we just splatter his brains on the floor? Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Oh, okay, so now there's a witness. There wasn't a witness before, but now there's a witness. I was gonna put him in front of the train. Let's stop the witness. Oh, hello, I didn't, didn't, didn't see you there. I've murdered like five people in this city and my bounty is 40 cents. Can we get on here? Let's sit on the chair. We're gonna role play. No problem. I don't like the way all these people are staring at me, though. I'm standing here staring at him with a knife in my hand. He doesn't give a shit. Come on, Tanner. We're going for a little walk. <laughs> Quick! 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 Oh, God. I knew it wasn't going to be too long before I felt the urge to go on a rampage. After all, that is the most fun thing to do in Rockstar games. Oh, dude, this guy's caught on his horse. He's getting dragged down the street. Convicted felon. If we go near the crocodiles, we're gonna be safe. Nobody wants to drive their horse near a crocodile. My logic was correct. The age-old question, who would win? Human with a knife versus an alligator. We can flank him. Quick. Right in there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Alligator one, human zero. The real thing I wanna know is who would win? Silverback gorilla or a bear? It's a question that's been debated for many years. Unfortunately, we're probably never gonna know the answer. Hey pig, just fucking charge me for no reason. Get out of here. So this one, I need to deliver the supplies on my own. Oh my God. Two seconds into the journey, I've already taken the wrong route. I've already hit my head on a bit of wood and I'm dead. That didn't go well. The game gives you a hefty amount of time to complete these missions. Mission complete. With that, I've earned my first gold bar horse racing. Wait, has the race just started? What the hell? Has it started me in the middle of a game? I've got a revolver. Shoot the target. This isn't the kind of horse race I was expecting. Race soon finished. Dude, I like started halfway through the race. Very bizarre. Okay, so apparently this is just a straight point-to-point -point race. My horse isn't as slow as I thought he was. It's not the quickest, but he's not at the back of the pack. Oh, we can shoot the other players. Well, that's a twist. Shot him in the back of the head. I'm, I'm well ahead now. Oh my God, are we gonna win? Wait, oh, I died? Quick respawn. I need to get myself. I mean, I was winning the race quite comfortably, but now I'm getting absolutely dumpstered. From first to fifth. <laughs> and with that, I think I'm going to call it a day. So after checking out Red Dead Online for a bit, my first impressions are as follows. For those of you that have never played Red Dead Redemption 2, 
Red Dead Online basically gives you access to that massive, immersive open world for the low price of $5 rather than paying $60 for the full game. When you're actually doing missions with other players and things aren't going wrong with disconnects, the gameplay and content is actually really fun. A lot of the content is locked behind a paywall or hundreds of hours of grinding. Become a moonshiner? $20. Bounty hunter? $10. Trader? Another $20. Naturalist, $10. Realistically, if you want to do all of this content, you're not going to spend 50 to 100 hours grinding out the gold bars to unlock it. The game seems to suffer from the same issues as GTA Online with long loading screens and general tedium when restarting missions and dealing with other players. It just feels like there's so much downtime between the fun stuff. Rockstar's games are known for being riddled with hackers in their online modes and Red Dead Online is no different. The download size is 120 gigabytes, as it also downloads the standard single player story of Red Dead Redemption 2, even if you don't own it. Overall, for $5 you can probably get some fun out of the game and it's always enjoyable going on rampages against NPCs, but unlike GTA Online, I couldn't actually feel much of a reason to play Red Dead Online over the normal single player version of the game, whereas with GTA Online there's so much additional content with the heists and financial progression that I actually did play that over GTA 5. It seems to me that Rockstar are pretty shit at making online modes for their games and it saddens me to see how one of my favourite game developers are ruining the integrity of their great games with unnecessarily greedy business practices in the online modes. But that's it for this video guys, as always let me know your thoughts on Red Dead Online in the comments below, as well as your thoughts on the direction of Rockstar Games in general. Shout out to Exitlag for helping me lower my ping when connecting to my online games, and social media links on screen. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.